This is training hands in, club out with a pool noodle. So many golfers who slice the ball or pull the ball um, tend to have a very leftward release pattern. So oftentimes they'll say they can feel that they're getting really steep and they will describe that they're getting on top of it. But if we look at it from the down the line camera, oftentimes at this checkpoint, the club is just inside the hand. So it's not in the outward direction, which means that the leftward path is happening all from there down to the golf ball. So it's only a release problem. It's not really a transition problem. So what's usually happening is they're in an okay position there and then the grip freezes and the hand releases or the right arm releases more like this and then it gets really underneath like so. So a checkpoint in the follow through is that the hands are just or the club is just slightly outside the hands from a down the line target view. So if I swing my hands out to the right, that doesn't help me get the club out to the right. What helps me get the club out to the right is having more of a soft rotation of the arms while keeping the extension of the wrist as long as possible. So basically coming through more like that as opposed to coming through the ball more with a flip like that. You can see that when I flip, that gets the club swinging way to the left. Um, when I hold it, the extension of the wrist or the flexion of the lead wrist, that keeps it going more out to the right. If I then accompany that with body rotation, I can get the handle to go to the left and the club to stay out to the right. It gives me a very um, soft, shallow ground contact and um, ultimately gives me a, a very uh, repeatable penetrating ball flight. So if you are struggling with more of this outside in release, here's how you set up the station. So I've got um, you know, roughly in line with that flag and I put the pool noodle roughly in, uh, in line with my knees or a little bit outside of my knees so that if I had the club shaft, it's just inside, um, but it's not too far out away. So I'm, I'm bringing it relatively close uh, to my, my legs just to make sure that if I scoop more like this, I'm going to catch it. I can always check with a down the line camera. Um, if the club is exiting well under my hands like this and it doesn't hit it, um, then it might not be in the right spot. So again, you'll see, even if I come into a decent position here, if I release it more like this, I'm going to make contact with the tripod or with the foam noodle. And I'll hopefully look something like that. And there I hit my pull. If I left the face open, I would have sliced it. If on the other hand, I get into roughly that same position here, and then I maintain the extension of my wrist, keep turning my body through, um, you'll see the club finish more a little bit out to the right. Once I've got a feeling doing it in more slow motion shots, then I can move up to three quarter swings and ultimately full shots. Kind of more like that.